Hey folks, it's IOE Thurman back with some more World of Tanks. So as you can see, this is Rumpel in his M46KR. And this is not an amazing tank by any standards. But he's platooned up with Lurpy and the Scorpion G. And between the two of them, they're going to really put this thing, and actually that thing, through its paces. Um, so as you can see, he's got about a third of his ammo in gold. Which is about the the uh, amount of gold I carry into a battle. He's tearing down the middle of the map, and he's not in the ditch, and he's not over there, so I don't really know where he's going. Um, this is normally the, the path you take in a light tank. Oh, this is a tier nine game on Sand River. If I didn't say so earlier, that is why this is normally the path you take in a light tank. He's already been shot twice. Thankfully, the second one hit his gun mantle and bounced. But the first one did quite some damage, blowing out our ammo rack and doing, you know, about almost, uh, what, 300, or 435 damage to us. That is unfortunate and painful, um, but it gets him on the flank, and so uh, maybe it was worth it. I don't know. Depends if he actually gets any shots out from here. Um, by the way... If you want to go to this position, take a fast tank. Don't be taking something like the Patton KR that's really on the slower side. Um, um, like something like a Bat Chat getting here is amazing. Something like the KR is going to get you hurt or killed trying to get here. Um, Rumpel is lucky. He didn't get himself tracked in the open. Um, Ooh, as he bounces that shot off of the M6 instead of hitting the E75 like he was aiming for. Uh, note that he's already ha has a thousand spine damage, which is one of the benefits of this position. Unfortunately, um, <laughs> he's getting harder and harder to shoot people as they seem to be moving backwards, which is a problem because if they're not pushing forwards, they're not giving us their sides, and their sides are the only parts of the we can actually pen. Um, our mediums, for some reason, are pushing to death over here. Um, we have, what, two mediums? Maybe, maybe we had three mediums? Or th oh, no, we, ha we have three right now. So maybe those four over there are originally or something like that. And they just all ran over that rise and found, like, the entire enemy team. And now they're all dying. And after they die, they're going to blame us for not helping them because it was totally possible for us to run back and help them. Mm, yeah, I'm sure it was. Uh, nice shot on the SU. Uh, prioritizing targets he can actually take down. Ooh, actually a side of a 263. We'll take that every time because, of course, it's a side of a 263. 263, smart enough not to continue showing his side. Unfortunately, not smart enough to... Oh, let's make G, let's make G. Nope. Oh, gets killed by somebody. Uh, the little T71. Maybe Lord HG, maybe just hit a weak spot. Ah, that is Lurpy getting in the fight as we see those shots come in from the friendly platoon mate. Sniping for that Kapoa. I think he could probably hit the Gore Glazes from here. Yep, as he realizes that himself and does start aiming for the lower glaces. That is going to make the shots a lot easier to hit. As that lower glaces is a lot bigger than that Kapoa. Uh, thinking now about what he wants to do next. Personally, I push up to that bush and see if we can get some shots. Or at least spot some things. But I think he's going to wait for his allies to push around the corner. And for them to spot stuff for him. And that way he doesn't have to worry about overextending and get himself, himself into trouble. Speaking of overextending and getting himself into trouble, the Oni is in a bad spot. Um, but thankfully for him, I don't think our team had knows how to get him out of that spot. Oh no, there you go. Lurpy's found a way as the T-71 dies. There we go. Find more shots into the M6. Again, though, got away for our team push around that corner. Lurpy, though, at this point in time, is in a bad spot himself, finding two 
enemy mediums pushing up on his position. He is more or less just running. Rumpel is now noticing the problem, or they've talked. They're talking in Team Speak Discord, whatever, and um, as now coming to the rescue. This thing though is so slow that we're gonna speed this rescue up because <laughs> it's gonna take some time. <laughs> Okay. Back in it. Gurpy goes in just a tad bit early. But thankfully, somebody shoots the uh, <laughs> rev there as it was revving up. And we get to jump in here, kill it, and then start taking on this SU. One. Ow! One more good shot into it. And it's prime for Gurpy to come over there. Top end. Yeah! There we go. It's a dead SU. We can get on with our battle. Um, and of course, our team is still trying to kill two tanks in the middle of the map. Wow. <laughs> yeah, because that's just how our team's going to go, right? Um, without these two there to support, they're just going to be like, I, I don't, I don't want to go forward. I, I might, I might get shot. I might scratch my paint. The T10 still on full health for crying out loud. That E75 is almost dead. We're going to speed this up. If he ain't going back to the fight, it's going to take too long for him to get into action. Um, that E75 is on like one shot kills. And the T10 is too scared to push up. I think now he might sort of be there almost. <laughs> so he's pushing up over here because he wants to. Um, wow. Well, if I don't think he's going to be able to save the IS-2, but he should be able to kill some of the stuff that's killing the IS-2 while it's fo focusing on killing the IS-2. Um, though he's getting so close to it that at this point in time, I, it may mitigate the whole like, what are you doing? Hey, T20, you guys had your chance to kill this IS-2. Apparently, you didn't take it, and so now. Backup has arrived, and the IS-2 is more or less safe now. Uh, with only having to worry about the, the T-20 from the front. And no, oh, that's a KV-3. He's got to go right in at this thing, track it as it comes over the rise. He didn't manage to track it. He's going to get shot once. He's got to kill the autoloader because... I'm surprised that worked. Um, oh, blocking the second shot. Not that it would have killed him, thankfully. And gets around it, and he's gonna circle this thing to death as he continues punching holes in it. As long as he's not shooting a square in the face, he should be able to pun punch the rounds through every single time. And that's pretty much what he's finding is this poor KV3 is struggling. He doesn't know how to turn his gun uh, to <laughs> get on target. Oh, finally figuring it out at the last second, unfortunately for him. Not enough time for him to bring them fully back around. As the T20 takes our tracks out, but we take him out in return. And that is the end of the game. Talk about a great ending. That was pretty well done. And we discover that Rupi is in the enemy base at the same time, so he cleared out everybody there. Yeah. <laughs> what do you think the odds are that we have two World Tanks games in a row with people having almost the exact same damage? Hmm? Well, let's jump over to the battle results and find out. A Sanker, yeah, Spotter, Bruiser, Duelist, Fighter, five for a fact. Two Bonds, nah, it's okay. A ton of dough. We like that, right? And Papa Fear, 4,800 damage out, 4,400 damage out. Um, that's actually really interesting considering the fact that there's 400, uh, damage between the two of them um like 400 damage gap but then there's almost there's, there's over 300 experience difference and th that's got to be the kills and i guess he spotted all of his own targets oh yeah especially there at the end whereas obviously rp was spotting uh, using other people's spot targets but either way he walks out with a buttload of money just just armloads of cash being carried out of there um, well done, sir. <laughs> Walked 1,300 damage with this tiny little tank that 
the only part of this tank that can block damage, by the way, is the gun mantle. So everybody's shooting him in the gun mantle <laughs> for him to be able to block it. Uh, well done. It was a joy to watch it. I can't wait to see your next game, sir. And, um, yeah. So thank you all for watching. Have a great night. This is IOE throughout.